Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good, good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Is this color good? Oh, no. Not good. This is a little bit better, right? This color is a little bit better. Okay, let's do some uh, mathematics. And this is the most basic algorithm. We know when we add numbers together, there is no order. If it is, if it is the same operation, the result is just adding. You can add 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 9 plus 2 plus 8 plus 1. You can add them together. Or at the end of the day, you just add them together. But you can choose some numbers. You can switch the order because they are the same operation. Or adding. Or addition. 5 and 5 makes 10. 7 and 3 makes 10. 9 and 1 makes 10, 2 and 8 makes 10, so all together it's 40. It is better than 5, 12, 17, 20, 29, uh, 31, 39, 40. At the end of the day you get the same result, but this way is cleaner and easier. <coughs> I use so I use this method very often in my art class uh, in my math classroom. So let's do this. So this is four plus nine plus six, and this one is uh, seven plus eight plus three, and this one is two, five plus two plus eight. So this 4 and 6 makes 10, so the answer is 19. And 3 and 7 makes 10, 18. 2 and 8 makes 10, 15. Is that faster? My goal is not for students to... to um, to find a short cut or to be lazy, but find to understand the number bound. There are relations between the numbers. Four and six, bling, they make a bound within ten. They make ten. So this makes ten. So a lot of time I do this. Let's do another one. Keep on doing one. Each time three questions. Six plus six plus four. Two plus nine plus one. One plus two plus eight. So sixteen, twelve, eleven. Right? This way, so that students make an attention. I made it with an attention, so that students work on the number bound, find the smart number, or find the relational number. And they work after many times. Of course, for some parents, they do not like it because it looks a little bit a short trick, a short uh, cut, uh, only use uh, a kind of smart alec method. But my goal is to input that sense of number bound. Okay, let's do another one. So this one, we can get it into 100, right? One, 20, 
29 plus 58 plus 42 second 43 plus 92 plus 18 33 plus 99 plus um, 67. So this way, 2 plus 8. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, already you, you first see the last number. 9, 8, 2. This works well. And then see 5 plus 4 is 9. And there is one... Uh, one incoming number from uh, from the the two plus eight so this one is 100 right so 129 and this one you can see oh uh oh i got a mistake right so this at least this can add together nine plus one is ten plus an extra one that is coming in so it's 110, 163. So this can be, I didn't intentionally make it it because I just uh, a bit too tired or whatever reason. But this is also a way, at least there's one thing that connect together. Do I make any sense? So this one, seven and three works well. 3 and 6, 9, okay, 100, 199. So, do this kind of exercise will help students to get comfortable with the number bond. 1, 2, 3, 64, 37, 28, plus 52, plus... 36 plus 85 plus 63 plus um, 91 plus 2 and 7, 72. So you get a bond, right? 152. You do this, this is 100, you do this more often, it gets into the blood of the students that try you to find the relationship between numbers. Because numbers are just this magical, fun and interesting thing. They are all connected. They all have a relation. And for different reasons, we find different kind of relation, relationship of them. Okay, now we will move on to another relationship. Are we ready? 191, 1, 100, 191. Okay, so we got it. And when we do multiplication, 2 times 4 times 5, we can do 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 5 is 40, right? We can also do 2 times 5 is 10, 10, 10 times 4 is 40. Another way, oh sorry, another way of doing it. Now I will do multiplication. Okay, so number 1, 7 times 5 times 8. 9 times 6 times 5. Uh, 5 times 5 times 4. Okay. 5 times 8 is 40. 4, 7, 28, 1, 0, coming back. 6 times 5, 30. 3 times 9, 27, with 1, 0, 
not forgetting. This one we can do two ways. Two, five times five is 25, is a quarter. Four quarter makes one dollar. Or you can do 20, 20 times five is 10, one zero coming at the end. Isn't it uh, much easier? Okay, now we will do a little bit bigger number. Just remember, two times five is 10, four times 25 is 100, eight times 125 is 1,000. I already know it. Even I die the next second, I know this. This is just part of my gene, part of my DNA, I know it. And your students need to know it. There are some numbers that makes your life so much easier. Just remember it. Nine times four times twenty-five. Seven times twenty-five times four. Eight times 9 times 125. Okay, 3 is good enough. This makes 100. 9, 2, 0. This makes 100. 7, 2, 0. Six, my, this makes one thousand nine three zero. So when you see the number, each individual number with its own life, with its own relationship, you do not need to count two hundred seventy or two seven zero. I think this is very Chinese way that we say, sometimes we say 200, we say the unit of it, 1,225. Sometimes we just say 1,275. Things like that, because this makes it so much easier to see. Well, there is a, a disadvantage of it. 1,275, you do not get the number. Get the sense this is up to thousand, right? Sometimes you do need to say one thousand two hundred seventy-five or twelve hundred seventy-five. In Chinese, it is yi qian er bai qi shu or one two seven five yi er qi wu. Anyway, you get the idea. Bye bye, friends. I love you. I really do. Do 